Hello everyone, welcome back to Golden Final Spin. Uh, in this episode, we're gonna go over one of my turntables that I built. I This is by request. I think I'm gonna do two videos of two different turntables that I built. And uh, the first one is gonna be this one here. I'm gonna talk about this and what I put into it and what's on it and why I decided to build it. Okay, as you can see, uh, I have it in a glass cabinet here. This glass cabinet, well, it's not really glass, it's plexiglass. I uh, had a custom size for this from a company in Toronto. I sent them my dimensions, and it was actually quite uh, cheap compared to other companies. And you can see over here, I do not have my cartridge on it because I don't use this anymore. I use the new one. I called it the GVS 1.0, uh, obviously Golden Vinyl Spin, and 1.0 because it's my first turntable. Just a little bit of background of why I built this turntable was mainly because I was always fiddling around with turntables that you could buy, and I looked online and I could see other turntables, but I couldn't afford any of them because they're too expensive so I decided to build my own. 90% of the turntable is made out of bamboo. This is actually I believe an inch and a half countertop bamboo and I bought a sheet of it and cut it down to the dimensions that I wanted and in between here is an inch of plexiglass which I think is called pure plex and I had to order that uh, overseas because they could not give that size here in Canada. The reason I went with bamboo, because bamboo is very dense, it's not really a type of wood, it's more of a fiber, and it, uh, from what I read and researched, it would uh, absorb vibrations. It's very dense. So you can hear it's very dense. On top of it, I'm using an acrylic platter, which I sent off to mentions, and I had a gentleman make it for me. The sub platter, which is underneath, I did not design that. That came from a different manufacturer that designs them. And this here removes, which I don't really know. I tried to get some information behind it, why this comes off, because the hole here is smaller for the spindle, but you cannot use that spindle for a record because it doesn't have the right diameter. And we went with super clear acrylic because I wanted to see the mechanisms of my turntable working. Here is the sub platter and the bearing is underneath of it. Over here I have my motor. Actually, funny story with this motor, a can is actually from a stainless steel tea bag can. I went to Value Village, found this, but then I didn't have a cover, and this cover just friction fits in there. So I can adjust it, move this around, make it go lower, and that will make my belt go lower on the sub platter as well. Inside of this, I have uh, isolated, which is a type of uh, isolation, I guess. So it will absorb any vibration. The motor itself has it in between the cover as well. This is the pulley, which I did not design either. Same people that designed this sub platter also designed this as well. And it's just a flat belt. I wanted something that isolated the motor away from the plant so that no motor vibrations would transfer over to the plant. Underneath here we have the feet, but the feet are not attached. Those are rubber isolation as well. And between the plant and the feet. Now I originally had uh, the plant and the arm board on not this, but I originally had it on motor mounts. They absorb vibration, but I later learned that it's important to have the tone arm moving along with the platter. So I decided to actually, I glued these together with a, a type of industrial glue. So that will, they will never move. There's only one bolt here 
that goes down but it's like a slot underneath it here so this arm board can move back and forth or side to side and the reason I wanted that is if I change the length of my tone arm I can change from the spindle to the pivot point and get the proper distance. Underneath here I have acrylic, very thin piece of acrylic as well and this acrylic helps absorb any vibrations so with the bamboo, the acrylic, the acrylic and the isolation feet absolutely nothing gets through here. You also have the rubber belt if there's any uh, noise from the motor it would be absorbed by the rubber belt as well. And on the bottom of this can there is isolation as well along with this is just to hold the can and make sure that it stays still. This is uh, a computer uh, cord here which is grounded and then we have this here I really don't know that's supposed to get rid of any um, I'm not really sure I don't know but it, it's on uh, televisions and stuff like that uh, gets let me know in the comments I forget what it's for and then I have my on and off button here so that's it but with the tone arm, I wanted something really nice. So I went with the Jelco SA250. Now I need to get a cartridge for this. I feel pretty guilty that I haven't been using this, but I've been using another turntable lately. Another one that I built, which I'll go over in another video. Down here, I'm using the Cambridge Audio 551P uh, phono preamp. It's really good. I, I really like it. So this is my first turntable that I built, made of bamboo. It has had mixed reviews from other people, so I don't really talk about it or show it that often, but I really enjoy it, and I call it the GVS 1.0. So that's my turntable, the very first one that I built. I did other ones as well, and it mainly the main reason I built it was because I love working with wood, and I wanted something that kind of made me feel like that I built something that was expensive that I could normally not afford. Uh, it was a gradual thing that the money built over time as I put into it, but it was like an investment. I didn't have to pay out hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars all at once. I really don't know how much money I put into this, but uh, this is GVS 1.0. Coming up in a different video, I'll show you the GVS 2.0, which is completely different than this, and it's not made of bamboo. It's made of something different. Thank you for watching Golden Funnel Spin, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Remember, keep spinning.